<laughs> I'd like to direct your attention to some of the most significant technological developments that have shaped history. But more importantly, can you actually spot when did we do the transition to across the digital divide? 20 years ago? Security meant making sure your car was locked or your house was locked. But today, in the information age that we live in, today in the information age that we live in, how do we actually know? Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Today, in the information age that we actually live in, with smartphones and tablet devices, how can we be sure that we can actually be secure? Today, information is power, yet we give it away quite freely, don't we? We've all now created a pseudo-digital identity that exists in the, real, in the digital world that we're not even aware of. It walks, acts, and talks exactly like us. My research aims at alleviating the problem in digital security. I propose a framework which essentially can enable security at its, its, at its core. I do this by proposing a strong mathematical model that can actually incorporate <coughs> different levels of security across different components in a computing system. Today, digital security is defined as antivirus and firewalls. My research proposes that a computing system should be split up into many individual components. Only by securing each component can we actually achieve overall system security. By using a strongly validated mathematical model, I develop my concept of what I call a digital monitor. It's essentially like a law enforcement which works at each individual component level. Its job is to secure that specific component level and only that specific one. If it falls higher up in the hierarchy, it's able to actually work across the different monitors or the digital monitors on different levels and secure the entire system. The main outcome of my research is to provide an architecture which manufacturers can actually use to build systems that actually incorporate security as a built-in component. But is technology indispensable? Unfortunately, no. So if you are one of the billions of people who actually use technology in your everyday life, then my research directly impacts you. So the next time you're on Facebook or doing an online transaction, I'd like you to take a moment and think how do you know that your digital identity is safe and secure? Thank you. <laughs>